Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian from Chaos Nation, and oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! They are doing so much for this first anniversary. I mean, it's kind of to be expected, it's the first anniversary. But to be honest, they are blowing it out of the water so far um, in terms of what they are doing. They're doing way more than I expected for sure. Uh, I play I play quite a good amount of gacha games, and this this the way that they're handling their first anniversary just helps solidify even more uh why i consider jigali lost to probably be one of the best uh gotcha games out there so far um definitely one of my favorites at the moment okay so we're just going to kind of go through the list because there's a lot to go over right now uh the first thing worth mentioning is that uh after the update happens uh everybody will be sent a free tenfold summon voucher already off to a good start uh we will be getting two new showcases we'll be getting the gala showcase uh which i t am talked about in a different video uh here we go gala showcase which features the newest units gala prints really good watch the video if you want me to hear my opinions about it uh as well as gives a chance to pull some of the previous gala units too which is great for those of us that happen to missed out on some of the previous gala units okay so <laughs> what more can you ask for use it on the t use it on the uh on the gala units for sure on the, the on the gala showcase uh let me go back to that um there's also going to be another showcase too which honestly i i would say you can skip the other showcase if i can make it pop up uh this one the fractured feature i would honestly say skip the fractured feature showcase use your 10 tick your 10 uh yeah your 10 summon voucher whatever it is on the gala showcase instead skip this one this one is honestly not as good compared to the gala one um, that's just my opinion though but anyways going back to what is included in the update go back do uh but yeah you'll be getting a free tenfold summon voucher now one of the newest updates that are going to be introduced in the game is the fact there's going to be these things called raid boosts um which is where I'm still kind of trying to understand it myself. It's one of those things that, like, I understand it in theory, but I kind of need to see it in person before I truly understand how it's going to be incorporated. Uh, but essentially, we will be getting raid boost effects when I clear boss battles and raid battles during raid events, just essentially to help do more damage and stuff, or, you know, just do better in raids with these raid boosts. It's kind of straightforward, nothing complicated. Uh, it's just in terms of how we're getting them, like, I kind of want to help solidify. I do mention it's when you complete raid uh, raid battles and stuff like that. But like, I want to know if it's like specific raid battles, is it all raid battles? That's kind of what I mean. Like, I kind of need to see it in action before I truly understand. Um, they're also adding a new feature in the next raid event. Uh, some of these features include a new Omega difficulty, the addition of bronze and silver emblems to the clear reward, and grand bounty for nightmare difficulty. The use of special items to play the extra battle whenever you want, and a feature that will allow you to trade for any of the element elementally attuned 5-star core weapons by clearing the extra battle. Pretty nice so far. That sounds like, like something that's more attuned for more of the uh, stronger players. Okay, so if you're a newer, newer player, you're probably not going to really see too much of that um but that is that is a nice little addition uh next up okay new gameplay elements elements and advanced dragon trials now i feel like me personally i'm just starting to finally get to a level where i might be able to be able to challenge the high dragons or, or the advanced dragons i should say so i haven't quite <laughs> tackled this portion of the content just yet uh, but I know there are quite a lot of you that are already taking on the advanced dragon. So this is probably uh, some stuff that's going to tickle your fancy quite a bit. So first thing worth noting is that they're introducing new difficulties to the advanced dragons. or introducing expert and master difficulties to them. Um, which is... <laughs> I can only imagine how ridiculous that sounds. At least to me how ridiculous that sounds. Because the high advanced dragons, the high dragons are already really hard to battle already to so and to, to introduce it two more difficulty stranger uh stages that that just sounds insane um uh, 
Um, they're planning to add new difficulties in October as well, and they'll show more information in a separate notification. They also uh, they can also use materials obtained in new difficulties to create new weapons. Uh, they're going to introduce time attack type quests as well, uh, and we'll also have rankings for those too. Okay, I'm not a big fan of time attack type quests throughout any type of game, uh, but that. That's just going to be a thing, apparently. Uh, they're going to make some changes to the title screen. Okay. Big, not a big deal. Uh, they're introducing three new stickers as shown right here. Bravo, sup, and three cheers for me. Uh, and if you actually go back to the uh, the Dragalia Lost video, what they kind of sh showcase in advance everything, you can actually listen to those. Uh, if I remember, I'll try and leave a link to the actual video Dragalia Lost video on Nintendo's uh, channel down below for you to go ahead and check out. Uh, they're also going to be introducing the special anniversary, first anniversary voice lines for a good portion of the units. Basically, on when you actually go to view your unit, they'll have the little kind of like a first button, as you can see right here in the picture. Click on that and they'll say a very special voice line uh, specifically about the first anniversary, which is kind of pretty cool, okay? Um, nothing, you know, absolutely crazy, but it's just a nice little, like, immersive aesthetic type of thing. <laughs> Next up, new co-ability. I kind of talked about this already for the uh, Gala Prince video that I made. Uh, but this is the newest ability, co-ability that they're introducing to the game. Uh, basically, it just makes it so that you can stay in dragon form longer and deal more damage in dragon form. So. Pretty decent. I don't think it has the greatest usage as of right now. I think this uh, this only really helps truly benefit units that like to stay in dragon form as much as possible, which aren't too many units. Um, the most obvious one that pops to mind though are units like Gala Mim, just because of the fact that mo a good portion of her kit wants to be in dragon form as much as possible. So, yeah, that's my thought about that. Um, they're going to be making changes to the item shop. Uh, they're going to be taking out some of the items and replacing them with others. Uh, they list it right here. So silver crystals, ripe dragon food, silver whetstone, and blessed water. Those will be removed from the item shop. So you know how you can do your free item pull every day? Uh, those items will no longer be in there. And instead, they will be replaced with all of the tablets as well as a hustle hammer. Hustle Hammer is going to be a new item that they're introducing into the game, which lets you be able to automatically finish uh, finish building one of your facilities at the Halodome. Okay, so as of right now, before the update occurs, the only way to actually finish production on a facility is to use your Worm Right to, you know, quickly to hasten the, the production. Okay. Uh, but now, after the update, they're going to be introducing the Hustle Hammer, which does the same thing, but for free, okay? You consume one Hustle Hammer to finish the production. You no longer have to use Worm Right on it. You can still use Worm Right, but you don't have to anymore. You can use a Hustle Hammer. So that's... Honestly, I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, makes those of us that might need, uh, need to catch up a little bit to some of the Day 1 players <laughs> a little bit easier. Um, they're also making some price changes in Worm Right for the item shop or the item pulls uh, as listed right here. Significant change, significant decrease in price, which I think is fair. I personally don't think that the item pulls are, are that necessary, to be honest. I don't use them at all. I feel like I get enough of uh, the materials and such just from doing quests. So that's just a nice quality of life change. Uh, they're also adding a new way to recover your stamina at the Halodome as well, where whenever you actually visit your palace at the Halodome, uh, you'll be able to produce honey tea, which will allow you to recover stamina. Uh, one honey tea is produced every 30 minutes and you will reach capacity in three days, okay? And they, and they show in the picture that using, it recovers like a crap ton, <laughs> crap ton of stamina. So pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, this talks about the Hustle Hammer that I mentioned before. There's a new Go button for Endeavor, so it's a nice quality of life update. So when you actually go to, uh, you know, claim all 
all of your endeavors that you've achieved, like your dailies and stuff. Uh, if you haven't completed one, there's now there will now be a go button that will take you straight to the quest that you need to complete in order to finish it, compared to actually trying to like manually find it on your own. So nice little quality of life update, uh, feature addition information. So that's just on the home page. It will display kind of how you're doing in the main campaign. Is so again quality of life update. Uh, they'll be changing to how the music what musics you can uh, listen to essentially. So again, quality of life update. You can now skip the boss intro sequence too, which at least for me, I'm personally happy about because especially for a lot of the uh, events that would happen where you have those like raid bot, uh, raid boss battles and stuff. Uh, I And you have to like farm that raid boss over and over and over again. I wanted nothing more than just skip the introduction of the the raid boss because i've seen it a million times so i i'm personally uh appreciate this this feature right here specifically um they also have a confirmation whenever you're doing a solo quest not a co-op quest a solo quest uh, making sure that this is the indeed the team they want to use if it's led by unit that is not uh super effective against the type of enemies you'll be fighting so nice little quality of life they'll be resetting the social reward and co-op as well uh, they will set the number of times you can receive the social reward which can be attained when you play co-op with a player for the first time after a clearing quest you can get 50 warm right per player for up to 50 players and now there's a bunch of balance adjustments as well so many changes it's, it's just an absolute ridiculous amount of changes uh, i'm not going to read through the rest of this because this is just a whole freaking lot so if you want to go ahead and check that out just go in, into your notices and here, click you all just click on your notices and scroll down, click view more, and click on the version update. This, yeah, the version update, okay, if, in case you want to read all that, because that's that's too much. <laughs> uh, next thing that I want to mention as well, there's there's still there's still way more, is the fact that... Oh, man. Oh, hold on. is the fact that they are doing a Twitter campaign on their Twitter account. Um, I've already retweeted it on my Twitter account. So if you follow me at Nation on Twitter, I've already retweeted it. Uh, so the more people that we can get to retweet their, their post on Twitter, uh, the more reward that we will actually receive within the game itself. Okay, I don't, uh, I don't think they actually mentioned it. In terms of what the rewards are, uh, they list the rules, but I don't think they actually mention the rewards. But I mean, hey, it's free stuff, so you might as well do it. Uh, next up, in terms of what's coming out too, is the fact that they and this one's absolutely huge. This is ridiculous. Again, I highly recommend you use this, abuse this on the gala showcase specifically. Um, but they're going to be introducing a free tenfold summon kind of event. Okay, where for 10 days straight, you will be receiving a tenfold summon ticket. All right. So all in basically TLDR, you get free 10, you get 10 free 10 ticket summons. Okay, 10 summon tickets, whatever they're called. Which is huge. Okay, on top of the initial 10 summon ticket that you get just... Uh, from the update as like a thank you gift from the Drogo Alia Lost team. So, absolutely huge. <laughs> 11 free tickets in total. So you can do 11 free 10 pull summons. That's insane. I I, I, I don't see many other gacha games that do stuff like this. Uh, without having some sort of, you know, stipulation involved. Or, you know... Uh, like some sort of catch so that's that's super cool definitely helps solidify to me again that this is one of, definitely one of my favorite gotcha games at the right now uh, yeah but i think that's it in terms of everything it, it was a freaking lot uh yeah that's about it the rest are just showcases but other than that, go ahead and let me know what your thoughts and your opinions are in the comment section down below about the new first anniversary updates and giveaways. I'm absolutely stoked. 
this is looking to be a really good first anniversary so far. I'm really happy, especially for the new polls. I really want those Gala units, especially Gala Prince. He looks absolutely dope. Uh, I really want to use him in combination with my man. But other than that, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe, and hit that bell button. It's the best way I know when I upload more videos such as this one. My name is Brian from KX Nation, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace, guys.